What kind of challenges is FNI up against? The reality is the FTC continues to get a lot of complaints about our business. And so what can we do to purify the process? So that's something in the nearer term. Uh, as I mentioned, just the overall normalization and cost of funds and just the some of the economic concerns that's, that are in the industry, you know, there's an opportunity there, again, for our dealers to focus. Um, and then just finally, again, I think this evolution of the business, it's, you know, how do we connect the dots? How do we make sure, Jim, that a customer can have access to F&I information without having to come to the dealership? You know, how do we make sure that the customer and the deal building aspect of their transaction can can include F&I without needing to talk to a human? And how do we make sure when they talk to a human, when they engage with the dealer, that there's a connection point in that process so the consumer doesn't have to make sure they're, they feel like that they're redoing work that they've already done online or outside the store?